Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is the 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. <laughs> session of the 2016 Open Simulator Community Conference. This session is Games Used in Engineering, Engaging Virtual Environments for Real-Time Language Education. As a reminder to our in-world and web audience, you can view the full conference schedule and read the full bios of our speakers at conference.opensimulator.org. Plus, you can tweet your questions or comments at OpenSimCC with hashtag OSCC16. Our guest today is Hiker Philp, aka Gwen Wasif Online, is the CEO of Let's Talk Online, providing technology support for language learning and events via virtual technology and virtual worlds. In addition, Hiker co-initiated two European-funded projects and worked with 35 European partners, including 17 universities, to develop accredited and certified teacher training courses. I want to welcome Hiker, and I will pass the mic to you. Thank you very much, uh, Carolyn or Meg. Um, thank you very much for this lovely introduction. And hello to the audience, which is a very impressive audience. Not only that we are high in numbers, but we're also very, um, say, aged, I would say. <laughs> aged as in, uh, you know, um, the avatars are quite uh, seasoned. Not that we show wrinkles, that we say. Um, everybody in the, um, could I just ask the audience to give me a quick, <laughs> thank you, can, uh, a quick feedback as to the lag, um, because we're streaming. Could you just say, yes, we hear you in text chat. <laughs> Mature, that's delightful. That's the lovely word for it. <laughs> No, so that I get a, a bit of a feeling for the um, uh, no lag. Well, delay, because you're streaming. I mean, okay, there we go. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Um, I'm going to talk today about games used in engaging virtual environments for real-time language education, which is a bit of a mouthful, but you'll uh, find out in the end why this is so. Um, first of all, I would like to... Um, uh, say sorry for Letizia Shinganotto, who is not here tonight. She has been scheduled to co-present with me. Uh, we did indeed co-present um, in Padua this year in June at the very, very prestigious Immersive Education Conference. Uh, it was Immersive Italy that they staged this year. Um, a um, summit, the, the, their, I think the sixth or seventh, European summit that they staged here in uh, Europe and in Italy. Interestingly, um, Indire, who is the, uh, uh, which is the research organization within the Italian Ministry of Education, of whom uh, Letizia is a part of, and she's a researcher. Um, Indire was the main sponsor of this conference. And interestingly, what I find is that on the European playing field of um, this kind of interest in virtual worlds, Italy is quite ahead of things. And uh, this is why the Immersive Education Conference... D does anybody know of, of the Immersive Education Conference here? Surely you must know of Aaron Walsh and his work with... Um, Harvard, Stanford, um, for about 10 years. Oh, yeah, makes us, yes. Anybody else know the Immersive Education Conference? Well, it was a very, very impressive event in Padua this year, and so we presented there. I uh, was due to present uh, together at other places, and I'm so sorry that Letizia cannot be here. I mean, she apologizes and says ever so sorry. She has, yeah, Aaron Walsh, uh, a fantastic man, um, very, very impressive. Also, the way how he communicated throughout the whole conference as a moderator from beginning to end in a beautiful down-to-earth English to explain really technical stuff um, uh, to an Italian, mostly Italian audience. It was wonderful. So, let me uh, start my presentation about our project in the virtual world called Edmondo, 
um, which is an OpenSIM installation. Uh, Indira has been running it for about 10 years, so they're also quite experienced with this. And especially they've been teaching and training teachers, uh, mostly primary and secondary school teachers, in the use of virtual worlds uh, for that length of time. They do a beautiful, what I call very, very pragmatic research in schools. So they have interactive whiteboards in the school. They display then um, the virtual world of Edmondo. They have uh, fantastic, typically beautiful Italian design um, of, um, of fantastic places such as, you know, old Roman uh, replicas of uh, that deal with history, then mathematics is very high. Um, lots of CLIL teachers um, are actually in this world. And what they do is they take these kids there and then they play with them, they turn with them. I mean, they've got really, really beautiful uh, research going on in this field and they're already doing this for quite some time. So, um, what we've done there is the following, because this is why Letizia approached me. She said, look, we've got this OpenSIM installation now, and naturally it is closed because um, we have sc school children there, so it's not an open OpenSIM. It's um, uh, access only and when we take the kids there sometimes we don't even know what to do with them and uh, language learning is a fantastic opportunity in virtual world as everybody knows a lot of people actually join second life to learn a language um, they also they go into role playing sims they come out of it after a few months with fantastic english fantastic uh, language learning taking place um, beautifully communicative environment from text chat to uh, voice chat. We know this. When you go into Second Life, you can learn a language. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't uh, actually, yeah, you're right there. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Um, it's, I, I don't show many slides um, at this point. Um, so this, this stays right now because I will show you in a minute a video that summarizes our project. And I only have six, um, sorry, eight slides. <laughs> but, okay, now um, let me, the, the background of this um, project that we did in, in Edmondo is that um, Letizia approached me, she said, look, we'd like to take the kids, they would like them to learn a language, but we really don't know what to do with them. And this is the situation in open sim installations. Um, it's not like Second Life. There, there are no people. It's just a 3D world, which is empty, sort of. Yeah. And until we get to that stage where we connect, like e-twinning uh, school classes in virtual worlds environment, like uh, um, Tila has done now a project, that is still still early grounds. Um, so. Just watching the IMs. Now, I want to show you what we did. Is what we've come up with is the idea um, that language educators, as in general, um, they they um, they have a lot of language learning games at their disposition uh, in their repository, kind of. Uh, quizzes, games, is part of the nature of what we do in class anyway. So we, at this point, we said, well, let's try to take those real-life games and adapt them to our virtual environment. And we ran a 10-week methodology course in showing the teachers on how to um, do basic building and scripting skills and um, gave them tasks, uh, what to do. And the teachers in Edmondo are beautifully, beautifully skilled and they're very creative. And the impressive outcome of this 10-week methodology course is what I would like to present to you today in form of a video. The video is four minutes, so enjoy that beautiful experience as it uh, outlines what we taught them and the results of what they've done. It's very entertaining. I will give you the URL also in in main text chat and I'll shut up for four minutes <laughs> and then um, we are almost at the end of the talk. There's just one thing I would like to do. 
down to my heart. <laughs> I have a little quiz for you to the audience. Um, by the end of this talk, I will want you to find out what is the name of the next year funded project. I'll, I'll forward to the um, video in a minute. Okay, this is the quiz question. What is the name of the next EU funded project? And those of you who know, please don't write it down for the moment. Those of you who know me, those of you who don't know me, take this as a quiz question for this talk. What is the name of the next EU funded project? <laughs> Here's the challenge question. Okay, now I'm going to play this video for you. Uh, some of you might be able to see it on the screen. Here we go. It's a sentence making uh, board game. You've got three dice to roll. On one die, there are numbers from one to six, of course. Uh, on one of the other dice, there is there are three symbols for affirmative, negative, and question. Yes. So just a board on uh, telling uh, and asking uh, for the time. I used this um, image of uh, this cloak and I put some sounds uh, uh, inside. Yeah, Particularly if you touch uh, a clock quarter oh. past, half past and quarter to, you can Three listen to Three. the sound. Three As we entered the maze, we found questions on the path. If we could answer the questions correctly, then we would uh, work our way through the maze. But if we answered the question wrongly, then we had to click on the ball and teleport back to the question. The ball actually gave us a complete response. It told us the answer and explained why and how the answer was right. So children would learn if they were wrong. Then uh, they talk about uh, uh, Hamlet and uh, his story, and, and uh, they decide to to talk about uh, this story all together, trying to um, record a podcast. We are here today to talk about Hamlet. Hamlet is one of the most important of Shakespeare's tragedy. Uh, who's Hamlet? I know, I know. He's the gift of Denmark. Oh, very well, uh, Maria Teresa. And uh, Claudius, who's Claudius? He's the new king. It's Hamlet's uncle. Very good, guys. 
guys. Very good. Uh, No, 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 no. Okay, um, I'm, I'm afraid even if you haven't watched all of the video, um, yes, you can, you can uh, uh, see the rest of it. I pasted the link into the main text chat. So just to wrap up. What is the quiz question of the day? <laughs> the question was, what is the name of the next EU-funded project, uh, which actually helps us explore this um, games in virtual environments, creating games? I mean, we are language educators. We have some games in PETA, as you see. You've seen mazes. I mean, it's, it's all very common stuff. Um, the real element I think is still missing is that we, we need a lot more game design knowledge um, to make this um, a cohesive something in world that has value add. Um, thank you for typing done in the text chat. Um, I would like to ask, rephrase the question of this next EU funded project, which I'm, I'm uh, happy to, to put in as a proposal. We're still looking for partners. Um, two partners, especially in the area of game design and virtual worlds, are we are still looking for. So I'm happy if you could approach me at the end of the talk. The question is, what's the name of the next EU funded project? Anybody find out? So you've seen on the slides, we've done Avalon, we've done Camelot. The very first one, Lancelot, was in virtual classroom environments such as Adobe Connect. <laughs> so, uh, well, this is a slide about education. The Maze Runner is a good guess, a Snake Dance. Anybody else a good guess? Sorry, I have to go ahead. I'm afraid I'll have to finish up. <laughs> Here it is. So this will be the name of the next year funded project. It's Guinevere, games used in engaging virtual environment for real time language education. <laughs> of course it had to be. Well, what we're, we're still looking forward for the future to come. <laughs> Excalibur about exchanging school classes in virtual worlds, how's that? <laughs> and King Arthur is also still missing, but he is high on the list. <laughs> thank you very much for listening, everybody. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Hiker for joining us today. And I love how you came up with the names for these, how catchy and figuring out the words. That's awesome. People will remember these for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, as a reminder to our audience, both online and in world, um, you can see what's coming up on the conference schedule at conference.opensimulator.org. Following this session, the next session will begin at 8.30 in this region right here. Uh, and it's entitled Exploring Creativity in Open Simulator, the Digital Art Museum. I love art. Can't wait. Um, also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 16 Poster Expo. If you're in world, you can do that on the sim specific. Um, and the rest of you, we will be seeing you back here at 830. Thank you.